Hello, welcome to Top Tuesdays, and today I'm going to be doing a top five. Now, usually when I do these top videos, top fives, top tens, top twenties, whatever, I do them as my top five, top ten, top twenty favorites of that topic, uh, not necessarily what I think are the best of that topic. But for this video, I'm going to change it up a little bit because you've heard what my favorite films are as far as Studio Ghibli goes. You've heard how much I love films like Porco Rosso and Kiki's Delivery Service. And my top five favorite Studio Ghibli films would be filled with Hayao Miyazaki movies. So I thought it'd be more interesting to do a top five Studio Ghibli films in order of what I think are the best films from that studio that I've seen so far. So it's worth noting there are a few I haven't seen. Um, only yesterday, uh, Arietti, um, Tales from Earthsea, uh, Pompoco, uh, My Neighbors, The Yamadas, I believe is one, The Cat Returns. Uh, there's quite a few I haven't seen, and that's by design as well. So don't recommend me any because trust me, I'm getting to all of them eventually, but I'm savoring the ones I haven't seen yet because these films to me are so special uh, and I want to make an event out of each new one that I watch and discover. And it's sad that they've stopped, they've stopped making films now, but it is what it is. And here are my top five, uh, and I'll get some honorable mentions later on. Number five, My Neighbor Totoro from Hayao Miyazaki. Yeah, 1988, I believe this film was released. This is just a wonderful film that, that speaks to so many different generations. Um, you know, I've watched this with, with different people and they've all gotten something different out of it and they've all enjoyed it immensely. And I just think it's a fantastic film. It is a very simple film with, with characters that you love, with a, a, a beautiful setting, gorgeous animation, which, you know, you get in all these films, really. And fantastic music from Joe Hisaishi, who's just a... Just you know, just a master of of composing film scores, and this film is no different. The music, there's some fantastic scenes in there, like the scene at the bus stop, which is just this beautiful scene with no words. That just is, it's just so fun to watch, and I just think that it's it's one of those real simple films that packs a punch and and does a lot without doing a lot, you know. And I think there's one of those classic films that definitely deserves to be in the top five. Number four. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Luke from three hours ago. Do you not realize that Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind is not a Studio Ghibli film? Yes, um, I don't know what I was thinking. It's hard to get confused because Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind was the film that was made a couple of years before Studio Ghibli was founded. It was kind of the kind of genesis of it, but it wasn't really a Studio Ghibli film. So you're just going to have to deal with that. And in place of it in number four, I will put... Kiki's Delivery Service, and all I'll say is it's a great film. I'll talk about it a bit later on, but yeah. Um, so now you just have to listen to me waffle on about Nazca the Valley of the Wind, even though it's not a Studio Ghibli film, a top five Studio Ghibli films video. What can I say? I done fucked up. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, 1984, Hayao Miyazaki's um, first original feature film. This is one of my favorites. I love this film so much and I love it even more now uh, having read the manga. I read it back in the summer. Uh, the whole like 1000 plus page Odyssey, I read it in a few days. Like it was gripping stuff. It was just this one of the most amazing stories I have ever experienced and uh, I could only wish that he had made like, you know, five more Nausicaa films and kind of, you know, completed the story of the manga. But uh, the film that we get still contained within itself is a an epic, a two hour epic like just this post-apocalyptic uh, story about this girl who uh, you know has to really fight against uh, man and nature and I mean there's a lot of environmental themes in there like like Miyazaki likes to put in into his films but uh, the setting again the music from Joe Hisaishi the characters I think Nausicaa is such an incredible character there are other great characters uh, who are even greater in the manga so you know, every time I watch this film, it never fails to give me this swelling feeling in my chest uh, at the final frame of the film, at the end of the credits, and I just think that it has a power to it that I, I love and I, and I enjoy going back to, and I've watched it many times now, both the English Disney dub and the original Japanese version. I love both. Um, it's a great film. Number three, The Tale of the Princess Kaguya. This is a film by Aseo Takahata, who was one of the guys who co-founded the studio back in the 80s. And this was his last film that came out a couple of years ago. And I think that it was robbed at the Oscars a couple of years ago when Big Hero 6 won Best Animated Film. I mean, Big Hero 6 was a lot of fun. It was a great Disney film, but The Tale of the Princess Kaguya is a masterpiece. This is art. Like, it is just unbelievable. This 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 two hour, I mean, it's, I think it's over two hours long. This, this odyssey of, of this one girl 
Uh, it's about this couple who, who find this, this baby in the, in the woods who gives them a fortune and, and a prosperous life and it's a very interesting story and it goes into quite a few different places but what really stands out is the animation, you know. And just looking at the animation shouldn't be the main reason for a film being great but I have to say that there is something about this, the way this film is animated, the way it is drawn, the minimalist style of it and it's, it goes back to that classic line you know, a great film should be where you pause it and every single frame is a painting. And I tell you what, you could pause any frame of the tale of the Princess, Princess Kaguya and it would look like a painting that you'd want to put on your wall. I think it's a, it's a masterpiece uh, of imagery, but the story is powerful as well. Like there's a scene where um, uh, Kaguya is, she, she kind of, she gets put into this kind of lifestyle where she's very uh, regimented and, uh, and kind of blocked in. And she's at one point in the film she can't take it and she, and she runs away and she's running through like these bushes and stuff and, and she is just like in turmoil and the art style starts getting rougher and more just like more abstract. I mean it's, it's an incredible sequence and I just think the film is, is amazing. Uh, and, and yeah so number three The Tale of the Princess Kaguya. Number two another film from Hiseo Takahata Grave of the Fireflies. Uh, this film hits you uh, like a careful but precise punch to the ribs. It is a heart-wrenching film about these two, these two kids, um, a brother and his younger sister, who are trying to survive during um, uh, World War II on their own. And again, it's a heartbreaking film, uh, right from the opening frames, uh, right till the the, <laughs> the closing frames. Um, but it is such a beautiful film, and I just think it's one of the best war films I've ever seen because it deals with uh, what happens to the people on the outside or, or the inside, even you know, wh whichever case it may be, who are affected by the war. You know, the people who are out there in the trenches fighting, but the the families who suffer. And I just think it's it's an incredible film, and is definitely a film you could call a masterpiece without sounding too pretentious. Incredible film. Number one. Yeah, um, this will probably ruffle a few feathers, I guess, um, so uh, let's just get into it and then I'll do, I'll do my honorable mentions at the end, actually, just to save the suspense. Number one, what I think is the best Studio Ghibli film, Princess Mononoke. Hayao Miyazaki's best film, I think. Not my favourite, but I think his best. It is, I mean, it, to me it feels like a Kurosawa film. It, it, it's this grand period epic, um, which has an, an, an elements of fantasy. Um, but also just, just it really gets down to the core of, of humanity and how how humans deal with nature and how they take it for granted again environmental themes but it's dealt with so expertly in this film there are characters that you love like Princess Mononoke and all of the characters in this film uh, there's no kind of shades of black and white with them they are all gray there's lots of different things in this film that um, that don't kind of hold your hand and say this is the good guy this is the bad guy you kind of get that but their actions don't necessarily follow that set trend uh, and there, there are many characters in the film I think who you know they kind of hop over the line of whether they're a good guy or a bad guy and it's left for you to kind of just decide what you want to decide about these characters but the fantasy elements bring it to a whole other level the animation is gorgeous the music is just sweeping and incredible again Joe Hisaishi did an amazing job with this film and I just think that it, it, it rises above what an animated film should be in a way it's, it's almost too ambitious but it works you know I, I just think that it is such a serious and adult film um, that really handles the themes that, it, that, that Miyazaki set to tackle just perfectly uh, and I just think overall it's it's an incredible 10 out of 10 film and, and from, in my opinion one of the best animated films ever made. So for me it is the best Studio Ghibli film that I have seen. Not my favourite, it'd be quite low down on my favourites actually. I do really enjoy it but I mean every time I watch it I think man I forgot how good this film was. So for me the number one spot goes to Princess Mononoke. Obviously the one that people are probably going to be outraged that I didn't even include in my top five Spirited Away. I think Spirited Away is a masterpiece. I think it's just such a flight of fancy um, but it's not my favorite nor do I think it's 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 the best. You know, I, I feel like Miyazaki's other work is stronger but certainly an incredible film. I think Spirited Away is fantastic. Kiki's Delivery Service is one that was really close to getting into that top five. I think that's a very very good film. That, well that's no, a great film that um, is better than I think people give it credit for. Um, and then some of my favorites like Porco Rosso, it, it just is there's nowhere near the best so I, I couldn't include it. Whisper of the Heart is another great one that I loved but a bit more low-key, you know, not quite you know, sn sneaking into the top five there. Uh, and then there's other ones that I've yet to see. So uh, leave your thoughts down below if you have a top five, top ten Studio Ghibli films. I, I love 
Uh, I love all of them, and uh, if you're new to me talking about these films, I do watch the Japanese versions almost entirely exclusively, um, but I do enjoy some of the English dubs as well uh, for certain films. But anyway, oh, and it's also worth noting, I've been teasing it for a long time, Hayao Miyazaki Month. I don't know when it's going to happen. I, I kind of teased that it was going to happen this year, but it just uh, the, the pieces haven't fallen together yet. And I've actually been working on it since last year. I've got one, two, I think three videos done for it already. So you're going to see me with long hair and weighing a little bit more than I do now. And you're going to see me and, and my brother. You're going to see... You know, there's lots of things I've filmed over the past year, but I just haven't put all the pieces together to get Hayao Miyazaki Month up and running. I've got the intro down, which is incredible. Um, but it's, it's probably going to have to be saved until 2017 at some point, but I, I really don't know when it's going to happen. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have done a top five Hayao Miyazaki films, but I'm going to save that for the Hayao Miyazaki month. One of my favorite directors of all time. I'm going to be doing a whole month of videos dedicated to his films and his other works as well. So there we go. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So you might say he's a really nice guy, really. But if fucking don't catch it with me. <laughs> He says he's really cool, but I think he's a tool. <laughs> <laughs>